Welcome to One Minute IT, where I try to teach you something in IT in just under a minute. Here we have the amount of available hosts for a particular subnet. So we're going to do a little bit of subnetting. So if you have, for instance, a slash 24 subnet mask, then that's basically 255, 255 plus 255. How is that? Well, it's because each of these different sections are called octets or the value of 8. So you can see 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 24. So how do we tell how many IP addresses we have available in a slash 24? Well, since we're only using the first three octets, that means the rest of these are going to be for hosts. And here are the values of each of these different areas. So we can see the value of the first digit is 1, then 2, then 4. It just keeps doubling as you go along. And by the time you get to the end, you have 255. But we need to remove one of those because of the fact that there's a broadcast address that we have to use. So there's 254 usable hosts in a slash 24. Let's do the same with a slash 28 just beneath it. So we have 24 of these ones. So let's just add four more. One, two, three, four. Finish it off with four zeros because we have to have a total of 32. Four times eight is 32. All right, so we only have four sections here that we have to be concerned about adding up. So one plus two plus four plus eight. That equals what? 15. So 15 minus one address again equals 14 usable addresses. And let's do the last one, the slash 30. Once again, we have to have 32 total bits. So we just have to add up these last two bits. So the last two bits, one plus two. One plus two equals three. Three minus one equals two. So we have two usable addresses in a slash 30 subnet mask. Hopefully that helps you subnet using IP for addressing.